the forces of the enemy who's trying to thwart our destiny. Father, to prevent us from fulfilling your plan and your purposes over this city today, Lord. Over this country, the United States, Father, and I pray your heal and touch will flow. Oh, God, you will send your word and heal those who are suffering from eye diseases. In the name of Jesus, we declare healing today. Pray for James Autry. We ask, Lord, that you will guide him and give him wisdom. Lord, for all of us, we ask this, that you would cleanse us by the washing of your holy word. Mm -hmm. We ask that you would correct us yeah. when we are in error. Yes. We ask, Jesus. Father, that you would instruct us. Yeah. And we ask that you yes. would direct our paths. For, oh, Father, oh, Lord, we long that this city, known as the city of roses and the city of rivers, might, by your power and grace, become city of righteousness yes. that is our desire yes and so today we commit this station on this mountain yes. for your purposes and your glory for father our desire is that we would make you glad mm -hmm. yes we pray in jesus name mm -hmm. yes Amen. thank you for charlie with the christian chamber of commerce and Bill and, and all those that are coming together with that. we thank you for the portland business luncheons and christ at work and and uh, the Luis Palau and the season of service and, and the, the great work that happened last year and the year before. Lord, continue and multiply. You're a God of multiplication. Yes, yeah, sometimes you add, sometimes you have to divide, sometimes you have to take a, take, you have to subtract, but you love to multiply. That's right. And so we decree multiplication, that everything that it, you have brought forth, you will multiply over and over. You're a God of abundance. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But you have come that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Full multiplication. And so we do pray for purity to be released upon your people. Within that gift of intimacy, Lord, that they will walk in absolute purity before you. They'll love you so much that they will walk in purity before you in the gift of intimacy. We, we release humility within the gift of authority, Lord. As we take dominion, as we have dominion over this yes. region, that we will do it in a humble spirit. Yes. And Father, we decree a generosity over your church, a full release of the gift of resources over this region, and a gift of, 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 of generosity to rise up, that we just won't serve, but we'll give. We'll give our time and talents and, and treasures, Lord, to the kingdom here. And Father, we know that none of this can happen without you. We can operate in these things and we can do these plans and programs. And, but unless you're here, yes. Moses said, unless you go up That's before right. us, why yes. should we go? Yes. 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 Why? There's no point unless you're going to go with us. And so we say, Father, go with us. Come with us. We're longing for that day when you will say, I'm going to go down and walk with my children. <laughs> I'm going to go down and walk with my sons and daughters. I want to sit in the car and let them drive me where I've put in their heart to go. So, Father, we thank you for that level of maturity and trust that you are building within us, that fathering that is taking place, that you're building within us to bring forth the fullness. Grow us all up. Get us out of that slave mentality and into adulthood, into to, to being sons and daughters. Get us out of Egypt. Get Egypt out of us. That we would walk in the full resurrection power that your son demonstrated before us. And that he said, follow me. That we would follow you. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. We follow you, Jesus. And everything that you said, greater works will you do. And so, Lord, you said to come into agreement. You said, whatever you ask in my name, it shall be done for you that your joy may be full. And so we decree joy over the city. We decree the fullness of joy. The joy of the Lord is our strength. We decree your laughter <laughs> over the city, Lord. That we will laugh at the enemy. <laughs> when we're under attack, we'll get over it. When we're under attack, we will get over it, Lord. We'll just laugh at the enemy. Just as you laugh at your enemies. And in that laughter, your presence will come. Your fullness will come. Healing will come. Deliverance will come. When the enemy comes, we're just going to laugh at him. 
And He has no hold in us. Jesus said, He has nothing in me. So, Father, we decree that upon your body. Raise up your church. Raise up the leaders of your church. The apostles, the prophets, the pastors, the teachers. The evangelist lords. Father, we decree the fullness of your body to come. Your bride, make her beautiful. Make her without spot, without blemish. Make her longing for her husband. What a love story. And we get to see the climax of the ages. We get to be the Esthers. To be able to witness the coming of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. What an incredible honor. Out of all the people to be born, to be lived during this time. And we want to hear you say, well done. Good and faithful, sir. Enter into the joy of everything I have prepared for you. We look forward to that. We long for that. We live for that. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, as we come into this place, this room, this place of intercession, God, as we come to hold up James's arms, God, your word declares that you will bring forth a command of blessings. Yes. And Father, as we lift up his arms as a leader in this city, Father, as we are Aaron's and hers coming under his arms, God, we declare even this day that as you are holding up the arms of your leaders all throughout this city, come on. God, we believe even this prophetic act represents yes. you lifting the arms of every pastor Come on. and every leader yeah. and every businessman and every woman in this city because you commission us to yes. pray and intercede yes. for the leaders. Yes. And God, as this man's arms are being lifted, yes. God, we declare that yes. every pastor, every leader, yes. arms are yes. being lifted in this Jesus city. Name. And God, we declare that in the victory Jesus is name. in the valley for in Portland Jesus and Vancouver. Yes. And God, all the outlying yes. cities, God, that are in the in the shot of this uh, uh, broadcast, we declare God to be a victory in the yes. valley. God, we declare to every Joshua, God, every leader that's yes. fighting Every Amalekite, we Come declare on. today yeah. a turning of the tide. Oh, yeah. We declare today a great yes. victory yes. in yes. the valley. God, we declare that your church Come on. is going to go forward oh, yeah. by the power of your Holy Spirit yes. and by your anointing. God, we come under as Aaron's and hers in unity. Yes. And we declare and believe today, God, that there is a turning. God, and that the anointing of the Holy Spirit is being released. And God, there's a divine intervention even happening right now by the Holy Spirit. And Lord, we declare a turning. Yes, we do, God. And God, we declare that this radio station will be used as a beacon of light to go forth by the Holy Spirit. God, that light will shine in darkness, and God, it will cause a great victory. Lord, we believe even now the anointing to go forth by your Spirit. Yes, oh God. Keep going. And everyone said, Keep going. Keep going.